Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to another beta tutorial from Fox Triple Eight. This is beta number ten. And now, continuing on, we just did the camera script. So when you go ahead and hit play, and you start moving, the camera side should fall in the ship. Now, it's hard to tell if you're moving, because one, uh, in reality, we are moving. It's just the whole fact that the way the background is. So I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna go ahead and teach you a little trick that you can do to decorate the background. Uh, to make things a little bit more noticeable of movement so you're able to tell what's going on around you so one cool way you can do or one thing you can do is go ahead on your standard assets and open up your particle folder and go versus misc and then you're gonna see light snow I'm gonna go ahead and, and drag and drop into the scene and where it says on the Y I'm gonna put on zero I'm gonna frame it and then I'm actually gonna move this thing right below my ship. And yeah, it's kind of weird the whole I'm using snow, but you'll eventually get it in a second. If I press the Y here on the compass, I can look up and top, you know, from the top. I can go ahead and position it right on the middle. So now, first thing we need to do is make it so the snow doesn't fall like that. So if I scroll down to the particle animator, this force, and then just put that to zero, and that way the snow will kind of stop falling. I'm gonna go ahead and go local velocity, and let's see where else is making it fall down. Oh, that's the only place it's making it fall down. Okay, so now I'm gonna make the uh, emission more bigger. So for minimum emission, I'm gonna put 900. For maximum, I'm gonna put 1,000. Now we've got a whole bunch, and then for ellipsoid, this is what we're going to increase. So for the X and on the Z, just put 300. And then now, the scene, it looks like there's a lot of particles going on around. The good thing about Unity 3D is that the particles don't really do a little uh, hog in your performance. That's a good thing. Now, if I, I've still got my particle selected, just scroll down, go towards where you have your snowflake. Now, in my standard assets, I'm going to go ahead inside my particles folder, look for sources, textures, and I'm going to replace it with the star. Yep, we are trying to get stars. Now, the star is actually a little bit smaller, so I'm going to go ahead and go all the way on top, minimum size, so something like 0.5, and then for maximum, let's put 1, and just hit play real quick and then I'm actually gonna see my stars coming around they're a little bit somewhat slow so what I can do to make it a little bit faster is scroll down mess with the damping so I believe if you increase the number it'll make it more faster so I'll do 1.5 Yeah, that should be good enough. So now I can go ahead, move my snow down, and then duplicate it pretty much twice, move it way down so it makes like a second layer, and one more time, move it way beyond down. And then I can create an empty game object, empty, and then here I'm just going to name it star field. So this is like a cheap way of doing a star field pretty much. Go ahead, click on my mod three particles. I just click the first one, then I so I uh, hold shift and click the last one. Now I can click and drag into my star field game object, and then now when I play, I have a star field going on. Now in this case, the star field is a little bit uh doesn't seem so. Uh, I didn't think it applied. Okay, let me see. Go ahead. apply energy energy is probably the one so maximum energy let's do 20 minimum energy let's do 10 apply C and I probably want a little bit more size on it oh that's too much <laughs> too much energy <laughs> okay I'm gonna put it back to 10 and 5 so let's just increase the size a bit too. 
uh, minimum size to one. Now apply. I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. There you go. I'm able to see my stars now, and now I'm able to tell that I'm moving. Now, if the particles are moving too fast, and you want it to slow down a little bit, <laughs> since mine's looking a little crazy, I think I went too much on the damping. Just, I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it at one. <laughs> and there we go. Right now we go to Starfield. Now, in the next tutorial, what we're going to do, I'm actually gonna make the controls of the ship a little bit different. Uh, yes, I started making it so you have to press WASD so, so you can learn a little bit how movement is gone. Uh, in this case, we're gonna actually adjust the controls towards the gamer, so it's more easier for the gamer to actually play our game, and it's uh, it's gonna be a little bit more fun and more easier. Uh, not so much. Pretty much, look with the mouse and just press W to go forward. Okay, you'll have a nice day. Now, take care.